All right, hello everyone, and please request all of you, please invite your friends. And let us see, um, Allah, the one God who is He. You know, always we, we hear the Muslims repeatedly saying Allah is one, and that makes Islam a superior religion. And that's very funny. I am one too. And now I can say I'm God, because I'm one. There's many religions believe in one God, but still they are false religion. And having one God or 10 God or 50 God or 70 God will not change the fact either your gods are true or not, regardless if they are one or two or five or seven. So when the Muslim they say to us, we have one God, the challenge is, is your God is a real God, whoever he is. He is one, he is half Adam here. He is 10 kilograms, he is five kilograms, he is 10 pounds, he is light like, like a feather, still will not change the fact, is he real? If we go in the internet and we search for what the Muslims try to use, it's called the miracle of the Quran, in order to prove to you that their God is real. I die laughing from the fraud and the lies. The miracle of number 19, Shabir Ali, the biggest fat liar, he don't dare to debate me about it because I can destroy it in two seconds, not even three seconds. Third is stunning, dazzling miracle of the Holy Quran. Are you sure they are sure they are stunning and dazzling? All right, we are going to open our Skype, and you must then tell us which one is the dazzling of the thirty. Choose any one, and everybody will love dazzling love at your lies. So when the Muslims they come with such a claim, do they really even they knew what they are talking about, or they are just copy paste? 90% of the Muslims, they are copy paste people. They have no idea what those miracles are about. Most of them, they don't even speak Arabic. Yet they think there is miraculous thing there. What is the miraculous thing there? Which one is the miraculous one? Any Muslim? My Skype is open in case you are a Muslim, you like to call me. Please feel free. I am not here, by the way, to fight with you. I'm here to speak the truth. And the truth will set you free. All right. Uh, I just saw an, uh, uh, somebody sending me a video saying someone from Indonesia just challenged me. What, what are you waiting for? <laughs> I mean, why Muslim they post a, a, a video in Indonesian language saying we challenge a Christian prince? Christian princes every day of life on air. When you are going to debate me after I die, I am alive and I am every day, thank God, on air. So why you are challenging me in a video? What about you call me? Obviously, he don't dare. He is just making a show in front of his uh, Muslim girlfriend. Like, look, I have a muscle in my toes. I am challenging Christian prince and he is a coward. I'm not going even to see your video. As long as you know about me, you know where to find me, call me. If they are sincere of a challenging Christian prince, Christian prince is here and his Skype is open for everybody. Only we block you if you are just a kid and you are rude. All right? Something wrong with my microphone? What's wrong with my microphone? Uh, sound is strange. But from my side, I hear nothing wrong. That's weird. Hold on. Echo? It's still bad. It's still bad. Better now. Sound deep. Okay, maybe. Hold on, let me see. There's sometime.
see here, setting. Okay, is it better now? Is it better now? Hello, hello. One, two, three. I think now it's better, right? Not better? Good? All right. Thank you. Sorry for that. I, I apologize. Sometimes this is your Google switch to the internal mic of the computer. Uh, all right. So when somebody want to challenge a Christian prince, like, look, somebody says to me, why you don't debate uh, to Riva Singer? First of all, I challenge him many time, and the coward, he never he never there. Secondly, I got him busted. So go and ask him why he don't there. I said, I'm, I will call you. Don't call me. I will call you. But he will never let that happen. So they are cowards, and they are not real. We, we challenge Mimi Hijab and his nurse Ali Dawa. I challenge Shabir Ali, and I will call them. You don't need to call me. I uh, Zakir Naik. I mean, who? Even the dead did that, but he died. So uh, what I would do? So uh, so what they do? Shabir Ali he apologized from ABN TV when this casual debate in the beginning he agreed, but when he learned that this is a Christian prince, he put his tail between his legs and he ran away and told them, "I'm doing PhD and I'm busy." And since then he is busy. But he debated everybody except me, you know. And when somebody asked him, when you are going to do, uh, he said to him, I have a one million dollar question for you. When you are going to debate Christian Prince, he started making games as usual. You know, he says, uh, there is like, uh, you know, I, I think Christian Prince is high leak. And it's uh, simply is, you know, he's just trying to say, uh, you know, uh, Allah knows best when I'm going to do it, making all kinds of excuses. Uh, so if you are a Muslim, you want to debate me, here we go. My Skype is open. It doesn't matter who you are. All right, we 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 spoke every person you know, and all of them they are, you know. This is why I, I used to play a, a song. It's called Potato. I, I did not come with potato from nothing. Because you claim that you can fry me, but you are the one who fry himself. Always. Uh, they offer Njem Shawadri to debate me. He refused. I mean, who was left? Then here we go. We are here. Aren't we here? Where are they? I made a video about it. I get him busted. He's stupid. Go and watch it. People will die laughing at him because this guy, he just insulted his Quran. Most, most of the things he said... It's against his Quran, and he's an idiot. This is what happened when a, when a, when a, when an idiot he he uh, he attacked the Bible because he did not know that Islam is a counterfeit of of, of Judaism and Christianity. So go and see the video I made back for him, and he you know he, do he dare to say uh, what the actually even people in spoke speaker corner that says why you don't call him? He ran away, same as Mimi Hijab. And look what they do. They are copy, copy paste. You know, he start reading for us. He have like stickers in the Bible. Uh, in here, in the book it says here, etc. Like one of them, he says, "Do you know in the Bible it says that if a woman she uh, defend her husband and she hold the balls of the, the the enemy, it says cut her hand." So are you saying to me in Islam, your wife she can hold my balls? It's okay. Is that the point you are trying to say? What kind of a woman she is holding the balls of a man? So what the book here, the law is teaching that a man fighting a man, a woman with her business, and she must be a filthy woman to put her hands there. So for you, there's no problem. Look like you Muslims, you have no problem. Your wife's playing with somebody else's balls. So the argument is very funny and very silly. I want to fight with Shamsi and his wife. She is going to defend me. She what she will do? She will hold me from there. And Shamsi, he will say to her, "Good work." And I will say to her, "Please don't push hard." Is that what he's trying to say? So it's it's silly, it's stupid, you know. And then yeah, they they speak against this, but you are not ashamed of a breastfeeding for adult. 
This is showing you that the, the Jews, they have a very high dignity to the point if a woman, she is involved in such a thing, the punishment is severe. But your prophet, he was teaching Muslim women to cover their hair, but in the same time, they give their breast to suck it by, 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 by a strange man. Right? What allegation, Hunter? What, uh, you know, all of this is, 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 is uh, where are they? Here we go, Hunter. Here we go. We are laughing at the Quran. Where is the Hunters and where is the Fishers? And where is the Mimi? Where is the Mimi? Show me. Show me. Silence me. We, we die laughing at their scientific miracles. This is what they claim. The Quran speak about the atmosphere. Is that true? The Quran speak about her, her, her human embryo, uh, embryo, uh, uh, embryo uh, development. Quran and mountains, Quran and origin of universe, Quran and whatever, you know, all of this is the Quran. Who want to call me choose one so we can die laughing? This is the best comedy. Anyone? Here we go, we are here. Either those are a lie or you are telling the truth. Which one of it is we choose one if it is the truth call us and show us which one you choose to choose whatever you want to prove Islam to us in any way you want not necessarily in the screen what we show in the screen now who is a Mohammedan would like to do to do so any Mohammedan Anyone? It's in my book. Read my books, you will have all the reference. Do we have any Muslim would like to say anything? Maybe, maybe we need a Muslim, he can prove us wrong. Who is a Muslim, he can prove us wrong. Do the seven seventh have on, please? I don't know what does that mean. Seventh have on, please. Anyone? No, give your give me your friend ID. It might be hard because I changed the name there. So people they have difficulty to find my ID. Give me his ID. I will I will text him. So he can call me. Anyone? So no, not even one Muslim is a proud. Let us see. The earth atmosphere, is it true? The Quran speak about the earth atmosphere. Who wanna bet? Who is a Muslim wanna bet that this is a fraud? Who is a Muslim when I bet that this is nothing but a fraud? Challenge. Any Muslim? No, it's still debate TV, but uh, I changed the name and the title when you search. Because I was receiving ad from a lot of crazy people. Like I close my Skype, I open it, I find like 200 people who want to add me. I want to add people only when I call me. Not just people asking me, I want to add you. They are working in the German translation is done, but they are working in the in the book, like to make it in good condition. Any Muslim want to show us that this is is that a true or this is a fraud? He made for you the earth as a bed between two brackets spread out. It's not my translation, the translation. And the sky as a ceiling. Okay. Any Muslim agree with this? Any Muslim agree that this is about the earth have a sky ceiling and that is the atmosphere? Anyone? So the Muslims, they don't agree because they knew that this is nothing but a fraud. It is a pure fraud. 
there is nothing there but a fraud. And you notice here, look, they cut the verse. Why they cut the verse? Why you did not say the rest of it? Why did not continue? It's not important the word of Allah, the rest of them, they are stupid. Yes, exactly. The word of Allah, the rest of them are stupid. So we quote for you from here to here because if you see the rest, you would die laughing. Shall we go to chapter 2, verse number 22? Shall we go to chapter 86, verse number 11? Chapter 86, verse number 11, is speaking about the rain. What does this have to do with the atmosphere? Chapter 2, verse 22. Let us see. So people will laugh. Here we go. This is 2 and this is 22. Hmm. Look at this. If you read the, the, the translation of the Muslim website, it says, He made the sky as a ceiling. If you read the Muslim translation, it says what? It made the earth as a couch. Actually, it doesn't say that. What couch? It's like, uh, you know, uh, like a bed. Exactly. The word Firash. We made the earth for you like a bed. And then we made the heaven as a building. Where is this uh, atmosphere here? And then he says, and he sent down from heaven water. But water does not come from heaven. In fact, water is coming from the earth. From the ocean. The source of the water is the ocean, is not the cloud. So where is the verse they are talking about? Where, where they are speaking about the atmosphere? Anybody see it? Change the translator. Maybe this translation is uh, made by an idiot. And I agree, it's an idiot translation. Let us go to other idiot, because all of them they are the same. Read and laugh. We made the earth for your resting place. You see, they're trying to avoid to say a bed. It says bed, literally bed. What resting place? And the sky as a canopy. Hmm. Is that really what it says? It says it was sama or bina, bina building. Change the translator. Go to uh, which one? Uh, big tile Big tile almost have the same rest in place look like they are stuck with rest in place It is see more duty 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 Here we go the duty he changed he is more close to the truth. He says he made the earth for you as a bed So one he's saying rest in place the other one he says like a couch the other one he said widespread but the fact it is a bed and the sky as a building and he sent down the rain from above hmm. where is the atmosphere here let us go back to the article maybe we missed something maybe something you know maybe it's coming later okay the second verse described the divine act made the sky as a ceiling where it says that in the verse it doesn't say that where is the word ceiling the one who wrote the article is an idiot because he is quoting the wrong verse. Let me show you where the Quran says the sky as a ceiling, not this verse. This guy who made this article is a certified donkey. Certified donkey. Literally. Here we go, and we see where is the verse saying that the earth is like that the the sky is like a, a ceiling. They don't know even their book, and we have to teach them. Chapter 21, verse number 32, is the verse saying, we made the sky as a ceiling. And not only that, it's a secure ceiling. Okay. So, here the Muslim, they will say to you, don't you know that the atmosphere protects the earth? But this is not the Quran saying, 
the Quran saying that nobody can go out of the zone of the earth and the heaven and if you try Allah will shoot his ass by a flash of fire specifically by stars So look how the Muslims they fabricate stories when the Quran is speaking about something funny and stupid they make it science read it carefully and we adorn the lower heaven with lamps and we made those lamps not stones what stones not stones I like it's it, like missiles missiles to shoot at the at the evil one to, to the shaitan do you see what atmosphere have to do with this so look what is in the Quran is a joke is a fairy tale that if shaitan tried to go to heaven Allah will shoot his ass by a star a star to kill Satan Muhammad he says Satan he's deep in your nose I mean how small he is smaller than a mosquito yet Allah in order to kill Satan he need to shoot him by a star and here Muhammad is a copying legions that when they see at night foreign star they think this is a star where God he is shooting Satan in his ass and for sure this is very painful for shaitan to shoot him with a star and star is very hard so what it is a joke the muslim they try to make it as science and look what it says here the quran make a mistake as long as the muslim they say that the heaven the lower heaven is the atmosphere but according to the quran in the lower heaven there is the lamps do you see it so what is a stupid in a miraculous way lying they make it as if it is science do you see the science of Muslims that is the science of Muslims far away from any truth any Muslim and different verse in the Quran which is proving to us that Allah is a false God hmm. Allah he said that challenging he is challenging mankind any human and and genie saying to them chapter six uh no actually not this one hold on chapter fifty five verse number thirty three all kind of genie and men if you are able to pass through the confines of the heaven and the earth pass through them but you shall not pass okay why except the one who is have authority and who is the one have authority the angels and the prophets so this is the atmosphere for you a verse after it says against you shall lose the flame fire and melt on press and shall not be helped which means you will not be able to pass so if you try to go out of the earth a human and genie Allah will shoot your ass that is the atmosphere as I remember the American already they went to the space and the Russian they went to the space and even the Chinese and not only that we have many satellites are out of the zone of the earth so where is Allah and where is his this verse alone is a proven to us Islam to be false So this has became science in the Quran according to Muslim and this is speaking about the atmosphere So look how they change the fact which is a fairy tale in a miraculous way it turned to be a scientific miracle Any Muslim want to tell us something who is a Muslim believe in this that if you try to go of the earth of the zone of the earth Allah will shoot your ass Who agree with this Anyone? Any two? This is alone is enough to prove to us it's time to be stupid cult.
who is a Muslim have something to add? See, we like to hear you, you know, prove us wrong, no problem, you are welcome. And we will speak to you nicely with respect. As long as you are kind and nice, you are more than welcome to call us. So what do you say? Who as a Muslim agree with this? That if we try to go out of the earth, Allah will shoot us by a missile. And the missile is stars. Anyone? Hello? So which one of those miracles are a true miracle? Are they all lies? In Arabic it would make sense. In Arabic it's even more funny. That's why I have to correct always. Here we go, it's in Arabic. If this guy, he know Arabic, call us so we can laugh together. If you think you save, you can save your God in Arabic, it's even more funny. Actually, Islam is uh, 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 like uh, not exposed enough because it's written in a foreign language, which most, most of mankind do not know it. Even Muslims, like uh, what is the percentage of Muslims who speak Arabic? 7%? 10%? You pray to your God in a language you don't understand. And then you try to show us that Islam have miracles. Fabricating the meaning, changing it in the, in the meaning which was understood always in different way. And the word is so clear. Anyone? And then you go to the Muslim website, they give you tons of reference and tons of stories. Quran and the human embryo. The Quran speak about the embryo? Yes, brother. Allahu Akbar, brother. Where in the Quran? Chapter 23, verse number 12 and 14. The first thing you see in the translation, they change the translation and they lie about it. Look, here they arrive, it says that we made the drop we made him as a drop in a place of settlement firmly fixed is that right and then then we made the drop into alaqa between two bracket leech suspended thing and the blood the clot to choose one which one which one so they put all the options to confuse you but in fact the word alaqa is not a leech alaqa is a dead blood as simple as that is not something suspended it is not a leech and it is not a, a, a anything else then you will notice and we made the uh, the alaqa into mudra chewed substance and then they cut it off right away when you read this you will notice the mistake and here you will see the muslim they say to you the word alaqa it possibly it mean a leech which is an insect which suck the blood and stuck in your skin the Quran saying that let us get them busted we go to chapter 23 verse number 12 to 14 by the way are they those verse 12 to 14 are they those let us see Try not to laugh. All right. This is the verse. Look how the verse transformed in a miraculous way to something it's not there. Then we made the sperm into a clot. First of all, we placed him in a drop of a sperm. Of rest firmly fixed first of all a human being is not created from a drop of a sperm a drop of sperm is not what it created the man or the women and then we made the sperm into a clot 
only stupid thing that the sperm transform into a clot actually sperm transform into nothing secondly it is one semen not a sperm sperm is a liquid contain millions of semen it's a sexual liquid have one of its like uh, uh, what is inside it is uh, semen so we are not made from a drop of a sperm that is the first mistake secondly when the Quran says that the sperm transform into a congealed blood that's not only stupid this is a certified stupidity because the sperm does not transform into baby sperm activate the egg and as you see here Allah he did not mention anything about the egg so what Muhammad do you think the sperm of the man go inside the women and that sperm then became a blood and then the blood became a, 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 a clot and then here they said we made as a, a fetus this doesn't, doesn't say that lump so Muhammad and I believe the reason for Muhammad to believe in that when women she have this courage she lose her her child uh, uh, depend in the in the age of the of uh, of her uh, you know uh, baby uh, what she will drop is going to be different depend which month so if it's an early age the women she will have a lot of a blood coming out and she will have what is look like uh, uh, like meat you know because it's uh, the baby is in in, in the stage of uh, uh, you know build so the edit Muhammad he thought that this is what is the baby is he go inside as a sperm and then the sperm became a blood otherwise why women if she discouraged she lose a lot uh, she have a lot, of, a lot of blood coming so this is the understanding of Muhammad this is cannot be understanding of God all right and then we made out from the loom bones so according to Muhammad the last thing to create is bones so now we have what we have sperm became a blood and then blood became lump and then the lump became bones and at the end we close him with the fish so all this time she, there was what so that what which mean that all the process was just to make bones so all those things we see the sperm the sperm itself became what became a congealed blood and then the blood became bones and then after the bones so in a certain point you are just a bones and then after that Allah started clothing you and that is very stupid this is gonna be from God any Muslim and at the end here by the way this verse is very famous where a Muslim a Muslim man he left Islam because Muhammad he copy him you see at the end here it says so blessed be Allah the best to create the fact this is a false translation it doesn't say that it says the best of the creators and the one who said that is a guy his name Abdullah ibn Sarah and he is the brother of Uthman ibn Affan so Abdullah ibn Sarah when Muhammad he said this sentence he was writing the Quran for him Abdullah he said liking what Muhammad saying plus be Allah the best of the creators Muhammad he said write it there he said write what he said what you just said he said but I am the one who said that he said it's given to me the same as given to you <laughs> if you change the translator right away you will see how the fabricating change and Yusuf Ali translation doesn't say the best of the creators let us go to different translation big tell look what happened here is the best of the creators you see why we cannot trust Islamic translation how it is the best of the creators but yet the Muslims they say the best to create there's a huge difference between the best to create and best of, to, of creators and here the reason they try to hide it because if Allah is the only creator how Allah he says he is the best of the creators you know what I mean We have a Muslim, I don't know. Okay. We have a Muslim, he asked his Sheikh about a conversation he had with me. 
So he will tell me what his sheikh told him. Let us see. Two minutes, okay, no problem. No problem. So here, you know, we notice that uh, the Muslims, when they speak about their God, uh, uh, they try always to cover up and they give fabrication in the translation. When Allah, he says he is the best of the creators, do he mean it or he don't mean it? Who is a Muslim like tell us? Do Allah he mean what he say? Or he's just a kid, he say things he don't mean. Because if there's no other creators, that's mean he don't mean it. That's mean he's a kid. If there's other creators, that's mean he mean it. So when I say I am the best of the student in the classroom, but yet I am the only student in the whole school, that is a lie. Because how I can call myself the best if I am the only one there? You know what I mean? So here, if Allah is the only creator, Allah is lying. Because he is not the best of the creators. Because he's telling us there's other creators, but he's the best. That not only lying, that's stupid. That's totally stupid. Any Muslim? So look how they try to make a fabrication uh, uh, out of, of, of a stupidity. They try to make this as a scientific miracle. There's nobody in the world agree that a drop of semen will turn into a dead blood. And what if we go to the Hadith? Muhammad, he will help us more to understand the Quran. And don't tell me the Muslims, they understand the Quran better than their prophet. That would be funny, isn't it? This is how Allah, he, you know, Muhammad, he explained the creation of Allah, of what Muslims call the embryo miracle. Read with me and laugh. Who is the one explaining, my friend? Muhammad. This is not Zakir Naik. This is not Mimi Hijab. This is the one who the Muslims, they wash their face with the, the laundry of his underwear. And their sheikh, they say, it is halal. It's a blessing to drink his urine. When the drop of semen remain in the womb for 40 or 50 days, 40 or 50 days, Semen can live maximum for five days. Where well, Muhammad he got the 40 or 50? And look here, Muhammad is a doctor, Muhammad. Sorry, he is not sure. 40, 50, the bend, the bend, the brother, the bend. Mm. But this is stupid, it's not true. And then an angel will come and say, His Lord, good or evil? What? Uh, good or evil? So now you are for 50 days having vacation, swimming inside your mother, taking selfie. Hmm? Recording 4K. Posting video on Instagram. 50 days. You can go right now search on Google for how long the semen live. Everybody will say to you, every doctor, every scientist, maximum of five days. I don't change my topic, my friend. What what we have to do with Fatima? No, no Fatima, no. Muhammad, he have no children. Neither Fatima, neither the others are his daughters. Muhammad, he cannot have kids. Let's see different hadith. Muhammad here explain more. Allah he created in the womb hmm? he sent the angel inside the womb 
and he says now a drop of semen now a clot of a blood do you see it is that really you can go right now and search in prophet Google about the stages of the embryo hello Christian Prince hello hello yes Christian Prince can you hear me I do go ahead I can barely hear you uh, let me see I think you need to okay you have no reason not to hear me so I think maybe you are playing games yeah let us block him then I will give you one more chance to call me if you say you don't hear me I will block you okay do you hear yeah, me now I can hear you now I can hear you now all right no no I can hear you now all right so what your shake yes. said to you you said to me in the text what well let me meet you too okay get lost kid no he's just a kid so as you see Muhammad here is saying when you are a sperm the angel will say oh now a drop of semen oh Lord now a clot of a blood oh now became a lump of a flesh and then Allah he decide the final shape angel says oh my Lord male or female but the gender is the, the thing which is decided already by this by the semen which means is the first thing is decided for the baby is his gender not the last thing so what at the end of the, the creation Allah he will make a penis hey Allah install penis or vagina what we would do here so according to Muhammad the last thing will be decided is the gender but this is stupid you can go and search right now in Google you will see this is the first thing to be decided not the last thing how this is can be scientific so look how they try to fool you they make a graphic they code for your names of uh, what they call them uh, scientists but all of this is garbage none of this is truthful the whole purpose is to fool you maybe you are a fool right and if you are a fool well, we can fool you why not good for us Any Muslim want to show us something miraculous in the Quran? I'm waiting. I took his call twice. He he hang up twice. So don't tell me why. He's a kid. He's just trying to disturb us. He did that before. That's why I blocked him before too. This is the same kid who do that all, all the time. He's a silly, stupid idiot. Any Abdul? So from all the Abdul, we got nothing except a kid who just trying. Supposedly he think he's a smart. He's going to disturb us. We are laughing. This is a proof of my point that Muslims they have nothing to say. I I, I cannot hear you. Okay, I will hang up. I'll call you back. I, I cannot hear you. I will call you back. Uh, okay. Yeah, Allah cannot hear us too, and he always hang up. You Muslims, you pray to Allah five times a day when Muhammad, he says, Allah, he come only in the third part of the night to listen to you. So where your prayer is going? Have you ever heard of a God? He receive a prayer only in certain time. So why you are praying at noon time if Allah is not listening? What about afternoon? 
What about evening? What about the morning? Actually, none of the time you pray, Allah is listening. That's what Muhammad said. Read and laugh. And this is Sahih. Our Lord, the blessed, the exalted, descend every night at the to the lowest heaven. When one third of the later part of the night is left and says, who supplicate to me so that I may answer him who asked me so I might give him now this is the only time he come one of the funny thing about Muhammad when he talked Muhammad he is a person I like him he cannot keep his mouth shut and the more he talk the more he make poo, poo this is a poo, poo because if Allah is all hearing all knowing why he need to go down to the lowest heaven so he can know what we say and he can hear what we pray Any Muslim can tell us this is a miracle by itself. This is a scientific miracle. This is a proof that Allah is using not 5G, He is using 2G, and His antenna is not receiving the prayer. So Allah, He need to move from point A to point B, or sorry, seven point after down there, so He can receive your prayer. Well, tell Allah to change His router, and maybe the internet company. Don't buy a phone from a Fagan company. Never work. Buy it from America. Anyone can tell us why Allah needs to go every every night. I feel sorry for Allah. Every night in the third part of the night, he come down. Okay, which part of the night? And here, by the way, Muhammad, he proved to us again that he think that the night is one, one time, the, the whole day, which means he think the whole earth have the same time at the same time. You know what I mean? Like when it's 11 p.m., Muhammad, do you think it's 11 p.m. everywhere? Otherwise, if what Muhammad is saying, that's mean Allah, he cannot even keep going to heaven because he keep going up, going down, COVID up, going up. Because how many times there's a third part of the night during the day? Any Muhammadan? That is a scientific miracle. The earth is flat. One third part of the night, yeah, I don't know, you can calculate it, but you see, it's about like the, the, the one third of the night, it's not cannot be fixed too, because uh, the night can go longer and can go shorter. All right, so sometimes the night is eight hours, sometimes the night is uh, seven hours, sometimes it is ten. Uh, sometimes, if you live in uh, Alaska or if you live in the North Pole, uh, the night can be a few months, so one third part of the night. <laughs> that's stupid isn't it but here by the way that can explain why Muhammad in the Quran he think that there is two east and there is two west the reason <clears throat> Muhammad he think that there is two east and two west because he noticed that and everybody noticed I mean like timing change between winter and summer so the sun rise in the winter differently from the sun rise in the winter time so what Muhammad do you think there's two east and there's two west do you see it Muslims this is not my fabrication this is Quran and you can't tell me this is Daif and this is alone is a scientific discovery so now we learn that we have two east and two west the God of Islam, he could not explain why we have two time difference between the east and the uh, and the in the winter and the east and the summer. So the conclusion is we have two east and we have two west. Well, nice to meet you, Mr. East. Two east. Hmm? Any Muslim have a comment? Isn't this a scientific miracle? Absolutely, this is scientific miracle. We have to agree. What else? Scientific miracle in the Quran. Let us see something else. Just for Allah, you know. We are, do you know this program for Allah? 
Okay, we go for the love. Quran and mountains. Quran and mountains. Okay, what Quran says about mountains? Let us see. A book entitled The Earth is basic reference textbook of many universities around the world. One of the two author professor Emeritus Frank Press, and this was the Muslim, by the way, do they quote for you some scientists to make the article science article that would convince you more. And then advisor, blah 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 blah. Okay, blah, 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 okay, and then his book says that mountains have underlying roots. Hmm. The mountains have underlying roots. And that roots are deeply have shaped and see how it is in the in the figure in front of us okay this is in the Quran brother have we not made the earth as a bed and the mountains as pages but look what he just said the Quran claim that Allah he placed the mountains in the top of the earth and he insert them in the earth is that what the scientist says absolutely false mountains are coming from inside the earth they are not something placed as a rock in the top of the earth so look what the Muslims do they say to you okay here it says that the mountain has pigeons but he will not tell you that Allah he said and we place the mountains on the earth. We place it. Let us go to the Quran so we can love together. All right. Uh, let's see here. <coughs> <laughs> All right. There's many verses actually, but we want to try to choose something so clear, uh, so you will not be confused. Here we go. Here they say, and firmly fixed mountain in the translation. That's not true. It says what Jibalu Arsaha. It's mean the Jibal, it is laid down. He laid down the mountains on the top of the earth. Let us show you another verse. Chapter 88, verse number 19. And the mountains, how they are build in the top of the earth not fixed let us change the translation and you will see how the translator play with the game you know with the meaning always they play with the meaning <coughs> firmly fixed until now we are stuck with firmly fixed let us see shakir firmly fixed look like those you know they copy each other they are not translating really they are they are a scam uh, let us see uh, Ah, this guy is better how the mountain were hosted but even this one is not true and look here it says and how the earth was outstretched the fact it doesn't say that it says how the earth was a flattened translation how the earth was made vast expense false here how the earth was spread out false it says as a as a as a flat not spread out so each one of them he give you different translation for the same verse however uh let us go to different verses and see more how the mountains are created Actually, let us go and ask Muhammad for help. <clears throat> Muhammad, he can help us to get them busted. 
Muhammad is said, not me, and this is Sahih. Allah the exalted, the glorious, he created the clay on Saturday, and he created the mountains on Sunday. So did you hear guys? The mountains are created on Sunday. So the mountains are created by itself. And then he created the trees, and then he in Monday, and on Monday, and he created things in Thailand labor in Tuesday, and he created the light in Wednesday, and he created the animals, or he caused the animals to spread in, in Thursday, and he created Adam in the last day, and the total is seven, which is against the Quran because the Quran says six days. However, here you will see that according to Islam, mountains are created by itself, and that absolutely false. That is absolutely false because the mountains are not created by itself. The mountains actually, it is nothing but uh, either volcano or the pressure of the tectonic plates where the pressure causes the ground to go up and grow. Mountains are not fixed. Even they grow. They grow by height. They bend in the location. This is why mountains, they keep growing like Himalaya. They keep growing. They are not shrinking, they are growing. So when Muhammad, he made this statement here, and the Muslim, they made this statement, they help us to expose how the creation, according to Allah, happened. Uh, you know, always when I uh, when I look at the, at the Muslim claim, the best thing about it, it makes us read the verses, which maybe we did not give attention to it. And by reading them, we would be able to expose Islam better. As simple as that. According to Muhammad, even uh, the mountains are Muslims. And even Allah, he offered the mountains to convert to Islam. But the mountains refused. And what to convert to Islam mean? Allah spoke to the mountains and the mountains answer. In chapter 79, verse number 32, if we go and read the interpretation, let us do that, just to show you how they try to avoid the disaster. We go to Tafsir. Actually, first let us go to the verse which they are quoting. Let us read that verse and read the interpretation so we can love together. So we go to chapter 7, verse number 78. Sorry, chapter 78, verse number 7. <clears throat> All right, we are opening the Trafseer. All right, this is the Muslim interpretation for the verse. We will put it in the screen, and this is the Tafsir Jalalain. And the mountains, pages, the mountain itself is a pages, not the mountains have pages, which tied the earth down like a tent, are tied down with pages. So what the Quran is claiming is that Allah, he put the mountains in the top of the earth so the earth will not move. How we can prove that? That's very simple. Let us go to the Quran. In chapter 16, verse number 15, it says, And Allah has cast into the earth mountains, not farm hills, that 
is not going to quote not with you so Islam preach and the Quran the science of Allah that Allah he placed the mountains to fix the earth from moving why because the earth is like a carpet but the science they showed us in the article it says that mountains have roots for sure they have roots they are coming from the ground they are not placed in the top of the ground but the Quran says Allah cast on the earth change the translation or oh, let us say the translator sorry because all of them they are lying as usual look the mount the hills became mountains it was it was hills a second ago and he has affixed into the earth mountains is that what science teach so one verse in the Quran proved that all what they say to us about science how the mountains are created is wrong because science don't agree that the mountains is something placed in the top of the earth correct let us go to different verse. We are not done. We have more jokes. If we go in the Quran, we will find this. <clears throat> and we placed for mountains on earth. Guys, do we need to make it more clear now that Islam teach that Allah He placed mountains in the earth? So when the verse they quote for us says that the mountain like pigeons, now we understand. Allah He placed mountains like pigeons in the top of the earth. There was an earth, and then He placed some rocks in the top of it, and He inserted the rocks like nails. But this is absolutely false. This is not how mountains are generated, neither how it is created. Can we make it more clear than this? What we will do more? It's a fraud. Those scientific miracle is nothing but a fraud. Who's next? Who is a Muslim when I give us one? Who is a Muslim want to give us another miracle? Something he's proud about. Hmm? Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim? He have a miracle of his choice. So we can talk about it. <clears throat> What do you think about Imam Al Mahdi? What Imam Al Mahdi is a joke. There's nothing is called Imam Al Mahdi. It's a fabrication of the Shia. Imam Al Mahdi is born of a woman. Her name is Nargis, and he is born from the side of her leg. And he is born, and his penis is circumcised, and his poopoo is like musk, and his pee is like Pepsi Cola. What Mahdi? This is a joke. You stupid people believe in any garbage. You have to be certified idiot to believe in those stories. Do we have any Muslim here have a miracle for us? Any miracle of your choice? Anyone? No, even Mr. Bean, he will not come with such a stupid thing like this. A shake, he challenged me, he is shaking. I don't know, he never show up. <clears throat> As you see, I'm here almost every day, sometimes even twice a day. We don't see shake, we don't see shika, we don't see shuku. Mahdi, you know, you know how to use Google, just type how the Mahdi is, was born. He is not born of a vagina because no way come on he's a Mahdi are you kidding me there's no way he will come from a vagina 
I'm so glad you did not come from her nose. Any Abdul, you have any miracle? Any miracle of your choice. Just choose anyone. Marco, what Marco? Is he a Muslim? This guy Marco? Is this guy is a Muslim? I don't want just people to call me. I want Muslims. Anyone? So where is the miracles? All of them, they are false. Hmm? And look at this verse here. And we made the sky a secure canopy. The Muslim, they say to you, this is the atmosphere. We answer that, right? That Allah, he showed your ass if you try to go out of the earth. And why the shaitan, they try to go out of the earth? Who remember? Why the shaitan, he tried to go to heaven? Who remember? Let's see the science of Quran. Who remember? Why shaitan tried to go to the heaven? What is the purpose? Anyone remember? To hear, to spy at Allah. Huh? I mean, this is science. Here we go. The Russian spying at the American. Hmm. Have you ever heard that Allah He made the sky a protected roof? So shaitan he cannot steal information. However, still shaitan will be able to steal, but not all of them. So look. This is the protected roof. The Muslim they try to make it as the atmosphere. وَلَقَدْ جَعَلْنَا السَّمَاءَ بُرُوجًا وَزَيَّنَّاهَا لِلنَّاظِرِينَ And we made the sky zodiac decoration as a beauty for the beholder. But this is stupid because what we see in the sky, you know, the stars we see in the sky, I mean, not even maybe one of billions percent of what is real, what is exists there. So there's no way that the stars are, this is the, the purpose of their existence. Allah, he have other purpose. And we have guarded it. Which one? The near heaven, the lowest heaven. But remember, the Muslim, they say that this is the atmosphere. But no, the near heaven, we showed you in different verse where it says that is this is where Allah, he created the stars. All right. Except the devil who tried to gain hearing by stealing, he will be pursued by a flaming of fire. The Muslim, they say this is the atmosphere. So what the Quran is saying, it's not the earth protected. It is the sky protected. It's the opposite of the atmosphere. Are you getting the point? Let us do some drawing. What we can do, we have to. In the atmosphere, if we say that this is the this is the earth, let us make the earth brown. This is the earth. All right. And then we have the atmosphere in the sky. We will make it a blue. So what the atmosphere is. That the atmosphere protecting the earth from the outside element, like ray, like uh, uh, meteor, if they go through the, uh, the atmosphere, they will be burned. What the Quran is saying is the opposite Allah protects the sky, not the earth. So if you try to go out of the earth, Allah will shoot your ass. Not the opposite. If you try to go out of the earth, going out of the sky, Allah will shoot you. Star War. So it is the opposite direction protection from what it's called atmosphere. Are you getting it?
So the shaitan tried to go out of the earth. And we try, he tried to go out to the heaven so he can steal at Allah in the bedroom. And by the way, it looked like Allah, he speak to himself. Once I was in the airport and there was a guy next to me in the bathroom and this guy he having a full conversation with himself. You can tell, I mean, there's no way there's somebody with him. He's talking like, you know, talking normal conversation, you know. And I was saying, Lord have mercy. Look like Allah. He have a conversation with himself and shaitan. He otherwise Allah talking to who? Even Muslim they say angels cannot even see Allah. And they receive their orders from the tablet of Allah, not from Allah directly. So Allah talking to who? And then when the shaitan tried to steal Allah, he showed him by a star. So look. What is a fairy tale in the Quran? The Muslim they try to make out of it a scientific miracle. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? And not only that, don't forget the chapter where it says noon, sorry, Qaf. Any anyone remember Qaf? I mean, Qaf alone, it's a big science. Let us see what Qaf is. There's a chapter in the Quran, it's called Qaf. What is Qaf? Read carefully with me and laugh. This is the interpretation of the cousin of Muhammad, he says. And from his narration in the authority of Ibn Abbas, he said, in the interpretation of Allah saying Qaf, he said Qaf is an azure mountain overlooking this world and the color of the sky is taken from it. Allah swear by it. Do you see it? So according to the Islam, we have a mountain called Qa, and this mountain is surrounding the earth. And the reason we don't see it, very simple, it's blue. The same color of the sky, actually the, the sky itself, it takes its color from this mountain. That is a pure science too. Actually, there's many scientists that discover this mountain. I have many rocks in my house from that mountain. This is why we cannot see them. The sky is taking its color from that mountain. Hmm? This is a cartoon movie. They try to make it science. Any mountain? Any any mountain? Any any Abdul have anything to say? Any Abdul have an objection? What do you think? We have to admit uh, Islam is full of science. Anyone? Nobody, anyone can call me, but you have to be a Muslim. Are you a Muslim, my friend? If you are a Muslim, you can call me. If not, no. Anyone? I'm sure a lot of you are converting to Islam right now. Choose any chapter for you in the Quran of your choice, the best of your choice, and we will we will see that the Quran is a stupid book. Anything, choose any. Just say this is the book. I want to, you know, I want to, I want to show you a miracle. Show me anything. You cannot find. Mahdi, he cannot find. The Shia, he cannot find what his religion is about. So what I will do?
Yani Muhammed'den Who is a Muhammad and want to say something to us? We are trying just to find a decent Muslim. I hope I'm not insulting by saying that. Because Muslims get offended by anything. If you say decent Muslim, get offended. If you say liars, they get offended. It doesn't matter what you say. Anyone? <coughs> Let us see. Hmm. All right, you said to me where we can find that he was born, he is born from the side of his mother. Thigh, her leg. Here we go. This is mentioned in the book of Biharul Anwar. It says, "Wahiya bi anhu yulad min al fakhd, wa adkur lak man nas." Etc. He says, and then he continues saying that the prophet he said, "We, the people of, uh, uh, like the imams, we are not born of the belly of our mother, but we are carried in the side, and we are not coming out of the womb. We are coming out of the th the tie of the leg, the right one, and." from our mothers because we are made of the light of Allah do you see it okay this is in the book which is in Biharul Anwar <clears throat> let me find you the page number here we go this is the page number, value number 51, page number 26. And let us translate in Google. Even Google is not good translation, but better than nothing. Okay. I see the translation here is uh, wrong, you know. So anyway, it says here, we are not carried inside our mother, Billy. But we are carried in the in in the in the uh, in this in their side, and we are not coming out of the womb, but we come of the right thigh from our mother. Do you see it? This is why Al Mahdi he cannot be born of a vagina or a or a, or the womb of the women, for that is haram. They are holy, and then he continue. 
So he's born from the right side of her legs. And why is that? Because they are they are made from the light of Allah. All right. The translation is not really good, but what we can do. So do you see it, my friend? Don't tell me where is the reference. Do we have any Muslim? By the way, I'm not born from my mother uh, womb. I'm born from her purse. Yeah, because we are we are not like normal people, brother. She opened her purse, she find me there. My brother, he was born of the chimney. Yeah, because we are made from the light of Allah. My cousin. He was born in the trunk. Mm -hmm. Do we have any Muslim here? What is the miracle of the Quran? You were found in the cabbage. No wonder you smell bad, man. <laughs> Any Mohammedan? Where is the miracles? You know, we, 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 go. we are waiting for the Muslims to bring us the miracle. We cannot find them. All is shish kebab. Look at this. Scientific miracle in the Quran. Okay, let's see something else. Shall we see something else? The origin of the universe. Allah, he told us about the origin of the universe. Are you kidding me? Yes, Allah, he says that. Okay, what is the origin of the universe? Let us see. The, the science of modern cosmology okay all of those there's no need to read them let us go to the Quran then he turned to the heaven when it was a smoke if 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 this is in total agreement with science brother are you sure brother and here now they make an article for you and they start quoting for you what scientists they said but that do will not say to you that in the chapter 41 you idiot according to Islam the earth was created first and then the sky was nothing the scientists you are quoting they are saying the earth was created long after so what does this have to do with this just because it says the word smoke May Allah smoke you. Let's go to this verse actually because this is a joke. If we go to the Quran, you will see the verse he quote is this verse. <clears throat> Read with me carefully and laugh. Tell them, do you indeed disbelieve him? And a sign compares to him who created the earth in two days. And after creating the earth, he set up firm mountains on it, which is stupid, because he set it in the top of it, and provide, provided with sustenance in partition to the needs of all who seek, like, you know, grass, trees, etc. And then then he turned to heaven while it was a smoke so Abdul your Quran saying the earth is finished yet there was no sky and this is the origin of the universe do you see how they flip science into a joke he did not show you the verses before it because the verses before it is going to get them busted according to the Quran Allah finished this earth first and then he created the sky Do you see how they lie? Here we go. The verse in the front of you. You go. Who's a Muslim want to call me? Say this is not what it says. Who want to call me? Answer me. Silence me. Show me. I mean, 
I think they should have started using this in San Francisco like show me silence me I know how a man he say that answer me what the heck don't say that to your mother-in-law she will she will hit you on your head show me answer me silence me okay here we go this is stupid and not only that this is a total contradiction for different verses in the Quran because different verses in the Quran claim the opposite as you see here Allah he finished the earth first Allah created the earth in two days then he finished everything in the earth in four days and then after that the heaven was created and after that he made them seven heaven and after that he created the stars so the last thing is the stars but science says that the sky or stars or like the Sun was created millions of years before the earth so why are you quoting science but ho hold on the God of Islam don't even remember which one he created first if we go to different verse on the Quran we will find the following <clears throat> Lord have mercy. In chapter 79, the Quran says the following Are you more difficult to create, or it's heaven he constructed? He raised it high. Okay, hold on, hold on. Allah raised the heaven high where? High from what? From the earth? I mean that stupid statement alone is a stupid because we are not raised the, the heaven is not raised from us we are inside the heaven is it true reading the high, the heaven is raised high aren't we inside the heaven the earth is like a small spaceship tiny one in the heaven we are not it's, what is this talking about but because he think the earth is a flat and Allah he raised the heaven hi hey, hello stupid and then this is chapter 79 yes and then he says it's high it's it's night uh, he cover with darkness and uh, 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 like forenoon so Allah he made the day and the night okay wonderful and after that he the earth made the earth flat okay hold on hold on and after that he made the grass and the water and the tree and after that he put the mountains at the top but look this is totally the opposite of the other verse the other verse saying exactly the opposite read with me carefully actually you know what let me try to make the two uh, chapters appear by side by side let us see if we can do that <clears throat> I'm not sure <clears throat> is it too small now guys is it too small for you to see I'm just trying to put the two the, the two chapters together so we can read them so you can see uh, how the Quran is stupid okay let us go step by step step by step in the right in the right of the uh, uh, right page in the screen here it says Allah created the earth in two days. This is the stage number one. Correct? This is a chapter of Fusilat. So number thing, number one, is he created the earth in two days. Okay. What is number one here in the other chapter? The heaven. Are you more difficult? Or the heaven he has constructed? So, in the right chapter, the first thing created was the earth in two days. 
in the left chapter chapter 1979 the first is created is the heaven then in this chapter here he raised it high and he made the day and the night after that in this chapter he created the earth in two days and then after that creating the earth he set mountains and he provided all the sustenance of the earth which mean water grass trees etc in four days so let us give them numbers let us give them number here is number one the earth created in two days then the water the trees the grass is now uh, sorry the, uh, the mountains uh, uh, number two and the the grass the tree is number three wonderful here number one let us change the color Number one is the sky, is it created? Number two, he raised it above. Number three, now he start working in the earth. And after that, as you see, this is number three. If we go to the right side, we will find again the following. Then he turned to the heaven, and the heaven was a smoke. But look what happened now. In the right chapter, in the in the right side, the earth was finished in two days. Then mountains and substance and grass and trees in the second day and the third stage. Then after that, he went to the heaven, and the heaven was a smoke, which means was nothing. Here, the heaven has already exist. And then after he finished the heaven, then he start working in the earth. It is totally the opposite. And then after that, he made the grass and the tree. So the grass and the tree in chapter 79 is number four. After creating the sky, after making the, 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 the stars, after making the sun, Allah, he made the water and the grass. In the other chapter, the opposite, Allah, he created the earth first. He put the mountains in it. He put in the top and, and he created the, the, uh, uh, the grass, the trees, as you see. And we give it number three and all of this is four days and then after that which means this is a stage number four after that Allah he went to the sky and the sky was smoke and then after that Allah he made the heaven seven heaven and he finished it in two days and after that Allah created the stars so if we say here this is number four here and then making the seven heaven is number five and then created the lamps is number six so in the in the verses in the right side the last thing Allah created is the lamps in the left side Allah created the sky, he raised it above, and then he created the lamps as number two, which means step number two is creating the lamps. So how this is, can be God? God, he don't remember which one he created first. In the chapter in the right, Fusilat, mountains was created when? Look with me. Take a look, please. When the mountains was created? 
Look, this is the mountains in stage number two. In the left side, the mountain was created when? After creating the sky, after creating the mount, the, the lamps, after finishing the sky, Allah, he made the earth flat, and then he created the water, and then, number five, Allah created the mountains. Do you see it? <laughs> How this is can be from God? I mean, how more clear I can make it for you? He is God, but he don't remember which one he finished first. Huh? You see, the Muslim, they might say to you, Brother, brother, Allah created the earth before, and he is not saying really the sky is created before here. No, he's saying that. Remember carefully. To make it more simple, ask the Muslim, which one Allah created first? The mountains, the trees, the grass, or the light or the lamps. Make it simple. Forget about creating the heaven. You will see how the order right away will appear in front of you. Let us say you are not a sharp person who is very smart. Ask, was the mountains created before the light, the lamps, or and the trees created before the light? Or the opposite? The verse in the right side, it says that the mountains and the grass and the water are created right after creating the earth in two days. While the heaven and the sky was nothing but a smoke, which means there's no lamps. The verse in the left, which is a Naziat, chapter 79, it says the opposite. Allah, he finished the heaven. He made the heaven constructed and he raised it high and then he made the afternoon and the and, and, and the night which means the day and the morning and the afternoon which means he created the light even in front of us in the muslim uh, translation it says with light as you see all right this is the muslim translation so first the heaven created then the light okay and then he and after that he spread the earth but the other verse is saying the opposite the other verse is saying and then he turned to the heaven and the heaven was a sky then what then after he finished the earth isn't it obvious that this is nothing but a scam the foolish muhammad he could not remember which one he don't remember which one he said before I mean, I don't know how, how a human being can be slow, how slower he can be, but it's obvious. Any Muhammadan? We were expecting actually today we will have a lot more, like we have only 775, I don't know why, it's uh, Saturday. Look like Saturday is not a good day. People go out maybe, right? They go with their family and picnic, etc. So maybe next Saturday we should not do live broadcasting. <clears throat> do we have any Abdul? And look at the poor me. I kept saying any Abdul as if I'm a homeless. This is the science. Your God even don't remember which one he, he did first. Well, no problem. It is Sunday in Indonesia. I thought we have one the, one flat earth and we have the same timing. That's a surprise for me. There's a Muslim sheikh. He was trying to explain why the earth is flat according to the Quran. He said, brother, if the earth is not flat if the earth is round as they say brother listen to this now we take the airplane as long as the earth is going around itself as those infidels they say we do not need to fly anywhere just let the airplane fly in the top in the fixed ground in the top of the ground 
don't move and the earth will go and then by the morning you will find yourself in Australia to make it simple like you can take a helicopter and then leg the helicopter like uh, uh, a little bit far from the ground and the earth is going around itself and then you will find yourself a brother in the morning in, in Australia <coughs> He's trying to prove to you that this is science is stupid because as long as you say the earth is going on itself okay we distance ourselves from the earth and then after a few hours we will find ourselves in india we do not need to fly anywhere just hang up yourself in the sky and wait until the earth go around itself and after hours from that actually i like this idea by the way i'm going to buy a balloon you know those balloon you go in the balloon and then after a few hours you will be in india you, you buy some curry and do shopping and then wait for the second day go again with the balloon the earth go around itself you find again yourself in America that's fantastic the science of Muslims all of this just to defend that the Quran is saying the truth by saying the earth is a flat <clears throat> by the way I'm not making things up you can search for the video search like you know uh, let me see if I can find it for you hold on Let's see if we can find it. I can't find it in Arabic easy, but I want to find the English version of it so you guys you can watch it. <coughs> Here we go. Search for this video. Actually, here there's a guy is making comments, so I cannot play the video for you. But this is the title. Let's show you. So all the cleric says the sun rotate around the earth. And he explained to you the same as was I saying. Let me post the link for you so later you can watch it. Anyway, guys, I think we have enough for today. And as you see, is Islam is uh, you know all what they say about uh, about religion and etc. is a stupid cult. I see that uh, a brother David and Sam Shamoon they are live. So you guys, if you want, you can switch their channel. Uh, look like we are going in the same time almost. This is why we both are not uh, doing a good number. So like look like the number is split between us, which is not good. So guys, after I finish, please go there and support those guys. And I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I will see you again soon. I hope maybe tomorrow or the day after. Remember always that many, anyone can make any claim. Claims are very easy. Anyone can say anything he wants. But the truth always is going to prove itself. And only if you are a fool, people can deceive you. You see, foolishness is not, is not something to blame to God. Blame yourself for being a fool. God, he gave you a brain, unless unless you have a mental illness, then, you know, God is all merciful. He will not judge you by anything except what he gave you. If somebody, he have a mental illness, God will not really judge him the same as he judged me. He judged him by what he know best, which means ability. If God, he made someone, let us say, uh, let us say he's born crazy. Okay, this guy, he is not going to be judged the same as me because he is he's not given the ability to recognize what is right and what's wrong that is justice but you are a person who been given blessed by God to have a normal healthy brain and then you are fooled by such a cult that means you have a problem you have a problem with the Lord one day how you explain to him why you were a fool what was the reason what you will say they lie to me it doesn't work Especially there's a lot of people trying to help you and to show you that this is this cult is nothing but a lie So thank you for being here if you like to read more understand more you can get my books 
from Amazon.com, France, Spain, German, whatever language you wish to have. We have it in Spanish too. You can get my books from Amazon. And may the Lord bless you all until we see you again. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon. Bye-bye.